It's your last thought before you go to sleep at night, and it's your first thought when you wake up in the morning. You can't forget that you're living with cancer. It's just there. My name's Maureen O'Grady, and back in the fall of 2008, I was suffering from allergies, and in January, the cough that lingered on showed a spot of blood, and the chest x-ray showed a giant mass in my right lung. My first oncologist diagnosed me as stage four lung cancer. And we were told that day to get our affairs in order. We updated our will. We got all our insurance papers together. And that oncologist just gave us the 12 to 14 months to live. I've always loved my family. They've been number one in my life. But this experience has, you can't love anyone anymore, but it's made the love even deeper. And my daughter was engaged in April of 2009, and I was really concerned whether I was going to make the wedding. The first chemotherapy I was put on, I had all the side effects. I felt horrible. I couldn't do the things I used to do. I couldn't change my diagnosis, but I could change the way I was treated. I didn't hear of immunotherapy until Dr. Gettinger presented two studies to us. One was called an anti-PD-1 therapy. It would train my cells to attack and recognize cancer cells to not only kill the ones I had, but actually prevent new ones from growing. The doctor told me I'd, he'd have me dancing at her wedding. Once you were on this immunotherapy Optivo, I didn't have any side effects at all. My hair started coming back, I was getting stronger, and I was feeling like my old self again. It took a lot of that emotional roller coaster experience away from me. A lot of things happened since I was on the immunotherapy trial that maybe I wouldn't have experienced otherwise. Tom and I made our 40th, 41st, 42nd anniversary. My daughter Lauren got married and had children. Now my other daughter is engaged. And that's all I want, is to spend time with my family because they're the most important thing in my life. And all these things I would have missed if it wasn't for Cancer Research Institute. It's important for every, everybody's survival to make these breakthroughs. It's going to save so many more lives. This has given me hope and it's going to give anyone else with lung cancer hope. We can't ask for more than that.